This is the first video for Sergeant Cuddles. Sergeant Cuddles is going to be a one pound ant weight that's hopefully going to compete in Robo Games 2015 this year. I'm starting to design with the weapon system in mind. I'm going to go with the weapon first and then kind of design everything else around that. So today we're going to play around with the weapon and see what we can figure out. Okay, so I've got my design pretty much figured out, at least the prototype design for Sergeant Cuddles. And now the first step is to test out the weapon. So I've got a um, Term G brushless motor here, and ideally I want to connect something to it and just get an idea of what the um, weapon is going to look like. And I also have um, this little thing, which is um, came with a sharpening stone for a lawnmower blade. So I'm going to try and use this to, you know, roughly center everything. And from the SolidWorks design, I figured out that I need about seven and a half inches worth of um, this. This is just kind of um, tube steel that you get at Home Depot or whatever. It's just weldable steel. And I found out the um, density of this, compared it to my drawings on the tool steel that I'm going to be using. And seven and a half inches of this, this is half inch thick outer diameter. Seven and a half inches of this will equal about the 100 grams I'm going for for the um, total weapon weight. So um, I'm going to measure out seven and a half inches, cut it on the bandsaw, try and drill a hole in the center, attach it to this, spin it up, and hopefully throw something against the room. So let's check it out. I've got the trusty bandsaw set to a slower speed setting for steel. I'm gonna clamp this in and try and get as close to possible. <laughs> The bandsaw doesn't cut exactly square, so there's a little bit of nastiness on here. So. Should be pretty good. Looks like we're almost exactly at seven and a half, so I'm gonna do a little punch in the middle and see if I can kind of balance this. So I've got a center marked here. And you might be able to see this, but three and three quarters. And three and three quarters, so it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just kinda punch a hole and see where we're at. I guess I gotta mark a center this way. The beauty is I can make this hole a little bit oversized, so if I have any issues with centering, I can kind of wiggle it around a little bit. Um, I'm using two rubber bushings on the inside, so there'll be a little bit of um, play here. There we go. Let's drill it. Got the hole drilled. Seems like it's gonna work. I tried this little thing out. The problem is it actually wants to balance this way and that way, so it's not really doing this. So I'm just gonna hook it up and see what happens. Um, the other thing I just realized is that it's pretty long, so with this washer, I'm not gonna get I'm not going to be able to use this for sure, so I'm just going to have to cinch this down as best as I can. Um, just something to think about. I'm using just a little piece of wood for right now, just as a testing platform. So I just got some screws holding in the base. So I'll attach that, secure this, and make sure that all the wires are out of the way. go. Okay, so I've got that kind of down so it can't hit, and now I'm going to attach the speed controller. This is a Turnigy 
20 amp, which I think I'm going to end up using. We'll see. So I'm going to connect that in, and I've got a um, 500 milliamp hour battery. I didn't fully charge this yet, but this is just a quick test. Um, so I'll connect all this up, and then we can turn it on. All right, first test, just gonna start up slow. Hey, not too bad. I like it. All right, I've got my trusty broom handle here to push this into the empty peanut butter container. I've got a GoPro up there. And um, yeah, let's test out the first carnage for Sergeant Cuddles. Okay, so testing went relatively well, I guess. Um, this actually loosened up a little bit, um, and it's actually just this mount on the bottom. I didn't really torque these down. I'm only using two. I don't have one on the back one, and this isn't attached to that very well. But overall, I actually survived pretty good. There's a nice little bit of shock mount in these. And as you saw, um, this was just rotating too much, so we needed this. Um, this just slides way too much on the floor, um, so this was kind of a nice little push platform. Um, I'm going to secure this um, with a little bit of the gaffer's tape, and I'm going to read the RPMs on this and get an idea of what kind of RPMs we're seeing. So that's a little over, it's about 10,000 right there, so not too bad. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I think 10,000 should be fine. All right, so outside final damage test. We've got a pot that will hopefully come right into the way of the blade. So go for a go. Cool, let's do this. I think we're finally ready. The battery died, so we got a new battery. Charge that up. We're gonna push that pot into it. That's gonna be awesome. Yes. All right, let's see what a tennis ball does. Oh! Okay, so I think that does it for testing for today. I think the motor is going to be pretty good, and I think this amount of weight is going to be really decent. Um, the only issue I had with testing was that on that last hit, the motor actually came around and nearly severed off this wire for the speed controller so it doesn't currently work anymore um, but I'm gonna try and um, fix that wire and eh, hopefully it'll still work but honestly in the testing I figured a lot of stuff would start breaking so this is just kind of a um, first test for right now but the motor still seems intact so we're good on there um, so yeah 
I'm going to go um, do some more SolidWorks drawings and work on the chassis and how to fit all this inside a one-pound enclosure.